Kin. Whoever they are, okay, I think even God talked to evil also because they had a, there was a time to give them sacrifice something. And but, but the whole of God very clear says God didn't talk to Cain. When, when Cain murdered someone, God still talked to him. This even mother was a, one of the one of his sin, I say it's the biggest sin. But still God talked to him. The fellowship of God did not break over there. You know, many people think that sin has always separated man. Yeah, sin has separated man. People always, always feel that it has broken the it has broken the fellowship of God as well. You know, it's in all the human, it's a, it's a focus that uh, the fellowship is broken. Just because people have sinned. But this is not the thing with New Testament. Now, I'll let me tell you what was, what was the real secret in the New Testament. Uh, in, in the book of First Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 9, this is one of the most important verse. It says, God is faithful who has called you into the fellowship of His Son. I like this, it's a one of beautiful line. This line, you can just put, take it in your hand, this line. 1 Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 9. God is faithful who has called you into the fellowship of His Son. It says, God has called you into the fellowship. It doesn't say God has called to fellowship. It's called God has called you into the fellowship. You are into the fellowship of His Son, Jesus Christ. You are into His fellowship. You are in Christ Jesus. Your fellowship can never be broken. You know, many, many people have this question. Can a fellowship be, be broken with God? It can never, never be broken. You know why? Because God says into the fellowship. The word of God says God is faithful. It says that God is so faithful. And so God is faithful. Who has called us into the fellowship. You know, not with, it says into, not with, but within the fellowship. We all are within the fellowship of His Son Jesus. We all are within Christ Jesus today. The moment you accept this Jesus, your spirit became new. Your spirit has become new. The moment you accept Jesus, your spirit has become new. You know, but so from that moment on, your fellowship with God has become eternal. It will never ever be broken. And, and, and even sin cannot break it. Even sin cannot stop it. Even sin cannot do anything. You know, many people think uh, if I have done something wrong, will God talk to me right now? Many, many people have this question. But sin is not an issue with God. With God has dealt with the sin. God has paid the only son for us. For, for us. The only son which he has, he has given to us. He, that, that son he died for on the cross for us. God has paid the, paid the price for us. God has paid the, paid the remedy price for us, I would say. Today we do not need to think that is a fellowship broken. Is a fellowship broken? A fellowship can never be broken. A fellowship is eternal. It can never ever be broken. Nothing can break the fellowship between you and God. But no, not even sin, not even anything can break the fellowship between you, you and God. Why I'm saying this line? Because in, in the book of John, for the for first book of John, the word of God says uh, that His blood cleanses us. You know, if, if you check this word in Greek, His blood cleanses us. It is it, it, it's a perfect continuous tense. What do you mean a perfect continuous sense? Which, which blood cleanses you continuously. Continuously, continuously. Every second is blood is cleansing. Right now, if you have done something wrong, blood is cleansing. When, before you even say sorry, his blood cleanses you. Before even you say, even in Mino, I'll give an example. Before you came here, there was some, some mess and you had some fight with something. Or maybe something has wrong. You, you, you thought afterwards, fight and after 10, 20 seconds, you, you realize, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a believer, I'm a Christian, oh, I'm a child of God, but you have messed up with something. But I want to say, when they, when they mess, the God has forgiven them. It's because what of God says he cleanses you continues 24 7. Not even one second he leaves you without cleansing. It does not depend upon your saying of sorry. So I always say we in New Testament, in New Creation, we always say about thanking Jesus. Or not sorry, sorry, sorry. We are not, we are not the people to say sorry much. We are, we are the people to say thank you, Jesus. Because body has that. This is that cleanses us continuously. 24 7, 24 7 is where it's cleansing us. No, uh, if you have any questions, I'll later on I'll solve you all these questions. But, but the, the blood of Jesus Christ it cleanses us continuously. Continuously 24-7 is where it's cleansing us, cleansing us, cleansing us, cleansing us. We are being cleansed. We are being cleansed. That's why we have the fellowship with the Jesus Christ. And we, it, what of course, we have fellowship into the Christ Jesus. We have fellowship into, inside the Christ Jesus. That's why fellowship can never be broken. The, the, the reason because if you are, you are into Christ Jesus, your fellowship is inside the Christ Jesus, it can never be broken. Now maybe you are in a boat. See, you know when, when Noah was going, you know when there was a flood and when he was in the boat with all the animals. You know the blood, the, the, that ark must have shaken at least 10 times. No, Noah, Noah must have fell down 10 times also. But you know, whenever he fell down, he didn't fell outside the boat. He fell inside the boat. He never fell outside the boat. Similarly, in the same, the same life. Do you think, think, uh, do you think sin is a problem? Do you think uh, something wrong is a problem? Or something I do wrong, or maybe it might get my relationship with God. Might break my fellowship with God. Maybe I don't think if I've done something wrong, God is going to answer my prayer or not. This must be a question. When we, we, we go all through a lot of tough times and we do a lot of wrong things, sometimes we get angry and we do something. Afterwards, we realize, Are, yeah, I'm a child of God, I'm a believer or something. You, you, so you think, ah, it's very late, I should have not done it. When we have said the same thing, same I should have not done it. I should have not done it. And you would go on thinking, 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 thinking. 
Numbers is very clear. You know, 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 Now the word of God says your fellowship can never ever be broken. It can never ever be broken. Nothing can break the fellowship of God between you and God. Nothing, not even a small thing, can break the fellowship because your fellowship is eternal. You know, to, today our fellowship is not something what we have to be obtained. Our fellowship is a right today. We have a right. This is a right in Christ Jesus. We have the fellowship with Christ Jesus. Nothing can break the fellowship. Nothing, not not even any sin, not even any frustration, anything can break the fellowship. Now, now let me ask you a question. Uh, I will just, uh, just you just take this question to yourself. If you all think the sin is, the sin is making a fellowship between me and God. So I want to say you can never have fellowship with God if you feel sin is breaking something. Because we know every time we are doing a lot of sins. I'll give an example. Sometimes people worry a lot. I mean that's a sin. And sometimes people look at look angrily. I mean that's a sin. And then people have wrong thoughts. I mean that's a sin. There are a lot of things we do wrong. I don't think if if you feel everything what you're doing wrong, you can have you can, and you want to have fellowship, but just because of sin you can't have fellowship. I will I will say this thing: if you just think sin is a problem, you can never have, ever have fellowship with God. But there are many times you will do sin in your life. And I want to say you the uh, good news: then the, the gospel of grace, grace is there, which can make you overcome everything, and it help you to get overcome everything. Because it blesses cleanses you twenty four seven. And uh, you know the, the righteous people, they are always obedient. The more you know you are righteous, they are always be obedient. The more you know you have a fellowship with God, the more you know you have a deep, intimate relationship with God. Yeah, you you can have a good relationship with God. You can walk through. Let me tell you what the meaning of the word fellowship. It means coin onia. This I it means when you look at all the hyper word coin onia. From from here we get the word coin. Is it a coin? One rupee coin, two rupee coin. From here we get the word coin. It means something common, commonness. Or I say a partnership. When you fellowship.